Awesome hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Dabutsu Sentai Jojo episode 33. This will probably be one of my shortest episode reviews, probably even shorter than the Trick or Treat one, or the Trick or Trial one from Power Rangers, uh, because there wasn't a whole lot to cover in this episode. Honestly, this was a very basic paint by the numbers Sentai filler of Monster has some sort of specifically weird, not funny, comedically, like, skill. That sentence made no sense. But, you know, the monster has some sort of weird way they fight that's not funny, but it's supposed to be funny. And the rangers need to figure out how to fight it, specifically a couple of them. And in this case, it was Leo and Amu, and it was Sumo. And the only thing I could think about during this episode was, I pinched off a rosebud for you. You get that reference? Yes. But, yeah, that was the plot of the episode. It was like the Sumo guy, and he would push you out of the ring and cause you to do Sumo moves. And it was up to Sela and Amu to train in sumo, and there was a bunch of like half-naked guys everywhere. And then they gave one to Leo, and then he like wore spandex underneath it. Um, and they trained, and they fought him, and like Leo won the first match, and then the cube guy showed up, and they fought, and then for some reason Amu came in, and she's like, I'm gonna do it, and then she did it, and then they Megazorded it up. Boom, done. See you guys later. No, but that was it. Honestly, there wasn't much going on in this episode. There wasn't really any character moments that I thought were amazingly necessary. I don't even know what amazingly necessary means, but I mean, there was nothing that really I felt was really important, except for using the word really a lot, or that will be picked up later, or that there was a change. It was just very basic stuff. Uh, there wasn't even any little hints at any larger plots or character things. Um, like I've mentioned previously, I would love for us to have filler in this series and actually have little nuggets of the main plot going, but this one didn't have anything. I think last week at least had one sort of mention of something, but this week was pretty bare bones. And of course, after several weeks of focusing on him, we had the classic Misao cowering that he's not worthy to wear one of the sumo diapers because he tried to, excuse me, um, do sumo in high school or something and to get friends and he failed so he's not worthy it so some nonsense but it was a pretty boring filler honestly i didn't care for it really at all like i said there wasn't much substance to it i didn't really find it to be entertaining sometimes the filler is going to be at least be entertaining and clever but it was pretty boring uh luckily 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 um i was i guess lucky and thankfully just merged in my mind classic fusion dance mess around but luckily next week looks to actually be the plot stuff with Bungle and some of the coming to life of the scans we saw a little while back of like Gorilla and Eagle fighting. It's really funny because the preview for next week's episode starts off with them wearing stupid like animal hats, like the guy whose name I forget who stays at their house or is his house or whatever. And then like all of a sudden it gets into good stuff. So at least it looks like we're getting into good stuff next week. So I'm excited for that, but this is a pretty short review. Really not that great of a filler episode. I give it a 4 out of 10. It was just kind of, meh, didn't care for it. But anyway, until next time, make sure you the crazy podcast at writersrangerambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.